My house is a really um, small in comparison to this. Yep. So, yeah. Kitchen. Living room. And then over here. You okay? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> And there, here is where the fun happens. Wow, you're thinking about that already? In this no. wardrobe. Yeah, what you'll like. Nice bathroom. in this apartment building a few times. Maybe you still live here and stuff as well. Okay. Yeah, I already got this apartment for a couple of years now, so... I think I live here around seven years, so eight years. Seems nice. Definitely suits your fiery heart. My fiery heart. So yeah, and then I over here, I have another room. So fat. Place to store all my weapons, and then my computer. And I'll show you what the best part of this apartment is, and it's gonna, you're gonna need to bite through it. Bite through what? You're gonna need to bite through it. But. Dude. The view. Come on. Come on. It's fine, you're safe. Just look outside and just look at how beautiful the city is. At night it's more beautiful, but you know. But even though the city at night is beautiful, you are even more beautiful. Even more beautiful than the skies, uh, the star in the skies. And I mean that. Oh. <clears throat> I just know the height okay? factor, but. Uh... You okay? It's just the height. It's fine. You have me, and you're safe. Nothing is gonna happen, yeah? Yeah.
You doing okay? Yeah. It's okay. You know why I'm doing this? Hun? Why? I'm, the only reason why I'm doing this and why you're here right now is I want to help you get over your fears of heights because I love you. You know that, right? If you feel dizzy or anything, you can just turn around, and you will not see the outside anymore. Definitely enough. Hey. Okay. Let me pick you up. There we go. Let me sit you down. Do you like my apartment? Yeah. Yeah. If you want, you can move in with me. Do you need something to drink? I'm fine. Okay. But I would love to have you here and you moving in with me. If you want to. I know it might be a little bit fast, but you know, it's a great place to be. You're safe here. It's and I can have you more. Hard. You'll be fine. Take time. I know. Just a bit too fast at this point. All right. Still, as you know, healing. That's the right way to say. It's fine.
Hey, hey, you okay? Talk I'm to in, me. I'm in the pit of predicament. You can tell me. Right. I was afraid that, you know, this would get through to you, but I guess that it, it will at some point. You know Fox, right? Yeah. She loves me too. And I don't know what I really want right now. Just be truthful with me. I, I... I went to Nova about it and said, Well, your heart. I... I want you. I feel there's a butt coming along. I just really don't know what I want to do. What do you think I should do? Do you love Fox? I do have a bit of a crush on her, but feelings for you are a bit deeper. She's already taken as well, so. More of a sister, really. can stay here. I need to go for a bit.
I ought to go back. Walk home. Too. Idiot. I'll find him. Go and find him.
What? Hey, sis. Come on, I'll take you to him. Hey. Come on. Hop in. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it's all my goddamn fault. Right. Punching chair handles are not going to do anything. Okay. <laughs> Me, I caused this. I caused him to run away because I told him the truth, and I was trying to hide it from him. And I thought it was right to say something. Look, you did right to tell him because that you felt that was not the right thing for you. So, like I said to you, follow your heart. Right? I, I am following his. Exactly. exactly. I, I want Kyle. You want Kyle. You've done the right thing by telling him, but you just didn't stick around him long enough for you to tell him that, you know, that you chose him. Look. Notice how you... much I've been caring for him with his injuries and everything. Isn't it obvious it's me and Kyle exactly. click as well? Exactly, exactly. To be honest, I knew you'd choose him. I knew you would. He needs me more than anything. Fox won't mind it. What? I just... <laughs> well, right now, we just need to be there for him. Um, He's not doing good, sis. <laughs> My fault. No, it's not. No, it's not. You did the right thing by telling him. I just couldn't hide it from him because how loving Tommy we were being, and I know. there was something I, I was hiding from him. And he's trying to help me get over my fear of heights. Yeah. I said. Oh, well, th thanks, thanks. Come on, let's go and see him. Come on. I think I can. Just... I'll be there with you, okay? No, 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 no. You need to be there for him. Okay? You need to show him that you've been there all the time. Okay? You need to show him that you choose him. Okay? Now, come on. It's, it was like it's all my fault. Well, 
you hear that should amount for something. Okay. He, um, he's in the coma, sis. <sighs> he's got spinal injuries. And he also hits head. Gonna be okay. It's all my fault. You did the right thing by being honest with him. Trust me. I've heard stories that if you talk to people in comas, they can hear you. So when you try telling him. Just doesn't tell him what you told me. <laughs> Just why does everything have to go the wrong way? You. I just thought it was right to tell you about about it. It's all my fault. I'll be right back, sis. Okay. God, you know I love you.
seriously? I don't want to lose you. Why? Why did all this have to happen? I'm not going anywhere. Now I know. <sighs> Gotta pull through this. to me. Why did you have to run when I was trying to tell you? This would have been avoided if I didn't say anything. She not said I did more harm than good. It's all my fault.
just going to pull through it, sis. You say about people being able to hear you and Gomez. Yeah. Is that actually true? I don't know. It's just something I've heard. The, I'm never going to get over this. No. The doctor told me outside that, you know, to try and talk to him. It usually stimulates something in the brain or something. This feels like it's my fault. So... Don't worry about blame right now. Let's just get him through this. He didn't do anything wrong, sis. He was honest with him. This happened because of me! No, he was honest with him, sis. Seriously. It was obviously a shock for him. That's why he took off. It was too much for him to handle. The same reason why I took off when that thing with Hawkins kicked off. It was too much for me to handle. Exact same kind of thing. If I didn't say anything, you would be still awake. Yeah. That must but... have been lovey-dovey. But the thing is, sis, it the poor and made things worse if you'd have found out later on, you know? So what did the doctor say? Uh, not, not much than he's already told me, but... Um... You know, he's just got the spinal injuries, head injury. And he's in a coma. I presume medically induced coma at this point. Yeah. I presume. They didn't, they didn't say. I know how it works. If injuries are so bad, you have to go put the patient to sleep so they can heal. Yeah. I'm a med I'm a paramedic. You know that. I know yeah. some of these things. I know. Which makes it worse, even more, I didn't wish this upon him to happen. I... Yeah. I didn't even wish for Fox to f be in love with me from day one and everything. It's everything. I know, I know. Things are sent to trials. Right now? This is going to be a challenging time. But when he wakes up, he needs to know he's got people around him. <laughs> he's and going to have a... And it's a test kind of on our relationship. Exactly. The thing is, he's got spinal injuries. You know that's going to be a long recovery. I'm putting, I'm putting things in place to help him. He's, I'm going to say he's not going to stay at his apartment with this. I'm looking after him whether he likes it or not. Mm -hmm. I, th I figured you would. They're at your place now putting stuff in that will help him. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plus it's on the ground so I don't have to worry about moving Elevators and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're putting equipment in there and whatnot. It still feels like it's my fault. I know. I know. Come here, sit.
That is really funny. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you can hear me. I don't know whether it's true or not whether you can hear me. Ever since I saw you again, it felt like an old friend has come from the dark, uh, from the light to pull me out of the darkness. As I know everyone was trying to help, help me in everything. Felt so. empty. I <laughs> know that I haven't long been out of a divorce myself, but I needed something, someone. To pull me out of that circle of going downhill, being alone. Since my birthday, you came and it just made me foot do a Yui and feel happier again. You just made my life a hundred times better than it was before. I even missed you when you weren't around for the, all those five years. Your laugh, your smile, everything I missed so much during those times we were on shift together at the fire station. All those moments. As soon as you came through that door to greet me in your uniform, it made me whole again. It's hard to explain. <sighs> that filled that void in my heart. I know that I've got another person who loves me as well, but they wouldn't mind or care if I just went with you that I was <laughs> funny enough already planning to. I just don't know if you're hearing this, but I know it's hard for me to get over what Hawkins did to me and everything, feeling like I'm going to be hurt again. And this incident here has reminded me of an incident way long ago. just can't bear to lose you. This was the only people that <laughs> trying to fix me from my 
heartbreak. Thank you. Glue. What's the right word? Nova super glued it back together. Yeah. Like it was never broken in the first place. Scars will be there, but that's always how it's how it's always been. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'll. I'll be right back. Hey. Oh my. <sighs> Fallen angel. God damn it, that sounds cringy with me saying it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. This compare to see you laying here. Not even able to see a smile. Or who made everything possible since <laughs> the pain. <sighs> Look at through this. Always have. Always get through everything and stronger than you think. <laughs>